concept of 100 men and 100 that care alliance, there's kids, there's 100 kids that care, there's, um, there's different organizations, but basically the concept is, is simplicity. And what you do is you meet for one hour every three months. Uh, the members nominate charities. Um, we get together, we, we draw three names. For, uh, we invite the charities to present to the, to the group. Um, they do so for five minutes, answer questions for two. At the end, we select one charity. Everybody then pulls out their, their checkbook or whatever, and they write a $100 check to the organization. So if you have 100 people, $100, that's $10,000 in one hour. Um, and that adds up, uh, and it's a godsend for a lot of the, um, the a lot of organizations. Uh, and we started small, and now this particular one, uh, 100 Minute Quarter of the Lakes, is over 150 individuals uh, and it keeps growing because because of the simplicity because we only meet four hours a year um, but a lot of goodness also comes from a lot of the side benefits i'm co-founder of the 100 men of quartha lakes um, and we started uh 100 men six years ago uh, last night was the sixth anniversary up to this point we've raised for uh, the community uh, for charities uh, over one hundred and eighty two thousand dollars um, the concept uh, of 100 men actually it started um, like all good things do with with 100 women uh, in the states and we brought it up here uh, and uh, I started one in Scugog as well and it was basically um, the 100 women telling the 100 or there was no 100 men at that point to get off your butts and do it so we did um, and that was successful and then there was some other ones that were started and then um, my wife and I moved up here at the Lakes um, seven years ago and so a friend of mine and I um, thought we'd start it and we contacted uh, Rebecca at the um, uh, economic development of the township of uh, or the city of Quartha Lakes and I asked who I should call, who are the connectors, and one of the first people they, they told me to call was Aaron, and I called Aaron, and he was thrilled that we were here, and, and so we had our first uh, meeting six years ago. One of the things that I love about the group is that it attracts the big-hearted, community-minded people, and it's a place to meet other new people, and these are the people you want to hang out with. Mm -hmm. um, even people like, like Matt, you know, I, I, I met Matt, and uh, and he's been he's been great, uh, and for the whole community. So you're 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 meeting people that are are still doing things for the community on their side jobs or their side work or their side volunteer stuff, and um, I, I just find a lot of magic comes out of it in a very short period of time. I joined a couple years ago, looking for a way to give back, be a part of the community. I always loved the idea of being part of something bigger, not just $100 to an organization, and that's good and valuable, but the idea of being part of $100 of a collective of 100 men donating. Uh, so I've always loved that. Um, I also do love the idea of every quarter, one hour at a time. It's not every month, it's not multiple hours. I was even hesitant when I first joined to join because I thought it was going to be a drag. I thought I was going to go there and it was going to be hours of my time. But I remember the first meeting it started and Brad got up there and started talking right away and introduced the other organizations and they're on their stopwatch and we we're out of there in an hour, which was fantastic. It didn't take up much of my time at all. So you're out of there in less than an hour or an hour in some cases, and it was like a really well-run group and organization, so. I think we had the mayor and we had the MP uh, from the area. They're part of it. This this particular organization is a, is a real slice of the community. So you've got politicians, you've got police, you've got paramedics, you've got hospital medical, you've got retired people, you've got business owners, you've got a, a real slice of the community. So when the organizations come to present, they're presenting to a grassroots of the community, not you know just a group. They're presenting and to be selected as the charity of choice by the grassroots of the community. It, it means a lot. It's like we're doing something good, and you believe in us too, and that's been that's been great. I find it fascinating too to learn about the other organizations mm -hmm. as well. 
Like there's so much data and information and content out there. So the idea of like spending time looking at all of them myself or looking at where am I gonna put my money. I love the idea of every couple months learning about a new one or three that I probably wouldn't have known of before, bringing awareness to that organization or a topic that they have. I think that's really interesting too. You can take that and do what you want with it later too, so. Well, one, one of the big things, um, to make a community, you, you have to give up your time. You can't just keep taking from the community. And to get together with, um, and to listen to these organizations that are the not-for-profits and the charities and understand a little bit more about them, they're the heart of a community. They're doing a lot of the work that we don't even think about. We think somebody else is doing it. And these people are working hard to sort of shore up the community and those parts of the community that might need extra help. And it's, it's everybody comes away feeling uh, wonderful. And the selected charity comes back in three months and tells everybody what they're what they've done uh, with the money, and that connects the hearts even more. And 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 a lot of times there's like tears in the in the in the room because it's it's just so heartfelt. I, I equate it to the type of person we're attracting. Uh, we're trying to attract. Uh, imagine you're walking down the street and you you see a sign and it says turn your one hundred dollars into ten thousand dollars in one hour with a path that goes up and you're like curious and oh wonder what the catch is and you walk and you see a person there uh, by a door 100 men on the outside of the door and you walk up to the person and say so what's this about he says so what's the catch and he says well there's no real catch really it's you know you give you 100 there's another 99 guys put it together or you don't get to keep the money mm -hmm. it goes to the uh at the chair uh, charitable local charity uh and at that point a person makes the decision they can say oh i knew there was a catch and go on their way or they can go oh that's a great idea and so the door is open and you walk through and there's 99 other people that believe the same thing and those are the people you want to hang out with anyway. sixth anniversary and uh, one of the organizations presenting uh, was the autism uh, support group and Matt uh, was one of the presenters there uh, speaking on behalf of the group and they were actually selected it was super exciting that was the second time that we were there uh, which was also really cool like we were invited a number of months ago uh, did a presentation another organization was awarded the money and we got the chance to come back, which I think is also really cool um, to create that awareness again, get in a room full of those people, new people, people that couldn't have made it before. Being able to have that awareness for Kawartha Lake Stockton support was fantastic. Um, so even though we didn't win the first time, it was still great to get out there and then of course come back. It can be really scary to do a presentation and a speech like that, but the way that this organization has set stuff up with the five minute presentation, uh, I think that's really fantastic. Uh, that sets that sort of framework so you're not scrambling and rambling on and you have to have uh, very clear points uh, and making it clear what you're gonna do with the money, why it's gonna be of value to you and all those different things. Uh, I just like the idea of the five minutes you're cut off, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> Winning was a fantastic feeling. Uh, I was overcome with emotion. It was very exciting. It was overwhelming. Um, I was just very happy to be able to take that money for that organization and be able to do something amazing with it, uh, especially the organization that I was speaking for. They are, I think, in so many levels, a grassroots organization. They've made a couple grand the last couple years. Um, and for them to be able to get last night over eight grand was just overwhelming in a way, in a very positive way. Uh, and just to be able to 
take that money and be able to put it towards so many amazing things, like creating more awareness for the group, which is, I think, the biggest thing and one of the biggest problems is making sure more people are aware of this support group. So more parents of kids that have autism or caregivers of kids that have autism know that there's a place that they can go to and feel welcome and comforted and be able to create that community and recognize that you're not alone in this case. Like all the situations that you're dealing with, other people are dealing with, which is if anyone's ever been in that case for whatever, it, it's very reassuring and it's just like a warm hug, I guess. So We had one situation where the Women's Resources, um, which is a shelter uh, for women that are abused that come and uh, the Humane Society uh, and they presented, um, but during the presentation, the uh, women's resources were saying that they don't take animals in because they can't. Uh, and afterwards, the uh, Humane Society uh, approached them and said, hey, why don't we start a program so that we can support um, the animals that are coming in so that you can take the women in? Because a lot of times they just turn around and leave with their animals and stay in an abusive relationships. So uh, that's the kind of thing that happens. I've had other situations in other groups where uh, they don't have volunteers and and mm. so people just all of a sudden say you know what what you do resonates with me how can i help so there is a, a court the uh kids uh that does a really great job and also the 100 women of court lakes uh and when before we even started ours they they were doing a great job they've done a great job over gosh when it was like over twenty thousand dollars i think we're always looking for new members uh, it's a m small commitment once every three months uh, for an hour that night. Uh, if you are interested in helping the community, raising money in a big way for great organizations that really need the money, please check us out at 100mencorthalakes.ca. Google us, we'll show up. Check us out on social media. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed looking and watching the meeting and getting to know a little bit more about the organization. If you're a little bit interested, pop in, check us out. Um, so, yeah, they've been doing a great job. I'm Sharon Smith-Carter. I'm Sharon Robbins. And we're missing Bella Alderton, and we were the founding members of 100 Women Who Care Kawartha Lakes. Uh, we started that in 2016. 2016. Yeah. We'd heard about this organization. It started in Michigan with a gal named Karen Dunnigan, and um, she was on a fundraising committee for a Center for Family Health. And they were in need of cribs and beds and mattresses for um, like new moms. New moms. Yeah, and yeah. these moms were bringing their kids home in to boxes and dresser drawers. So she took it upon herself to try and raise the $10,000 that mm -hmm. they needed to um, accommodate or give to these mm -hmm. women, right? Yeah. And so she knew some friends. She knew 10 people that she could call yeah. and she was going to ask them for $1,000. And then she thought, why don't I try and lighten the load? I bet I can probably get 100 people who would donate $100. So they got on the phone and they set up a meeting and in one hour they far exceeded what they were looking for and they raised $12,800 and that was the beginning of mm -hmm. 100 Women Who Care. And then it spread beyond her state, the country, there's now over 900 chapters of 100 Women Who Care, 100 men, children, people and teens. And so then we come back to us. So we started in 2016, and um, we were wondering, we weren't really sure how many people we would have at our very first meeting. We hosted our first meeting above one of the local restaurants, and at that meeting, we actually exceeded the fire code uh, limit for people. So we had over 150 people, and we raised um, $13,000 at our first meeting. At our very first meeting. Yeah. Yeah, so we continued uh, organizing 100 Women Here for four years, and then we passed it on to a new executive. Mm -hmm. And I think when we ended, we had about 255 women who yeah. were part of the organization. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so tonight, the executive that we passed it off to in 2019 is welcoming another. This will be their third executive, and we're very excited. Yeah. Very we're, excited. We're super excited to see this continue in yeah. our community. Yeah. The one thing that we were really excited about was we didn't have to commit a lot of time. So it was really one hour every four months. And it became our tagline that we said to people, we don't care if you come, but we just care if your checks come. And they did, and they continued to come. That's right. And so it was really, really good for busy women who didn't want to spend a lot of time, you know, doing something. So, I mean, really, the meeting started at 7, and we promised that they would eight, end at 8, and they did, in fact, end at 8. Um, the wonderful thing also was that all of this money went to local charities or local nonprofits. So people yeah. were able to actually see where their do donations were going in their own community. Mm -hmm. And that made it really meaningful. Yeah, and the other thing that was really great, although everybody can donate on their own, collectively we really had an impact. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, with the generosity and commitment to our 100 women who care, the, the past year we were able to donate over $44,000 to support three charities, Felon Falls Senior Club, Victoria's Quilts for Cancer, and Big Brothers Big Sisters of Cortha Lakes Halliburton. Since the inception of the Cortha Lakes chapter in 2016, the 100 Women Who Care, our organization has donated almost $360,000. In terms of our meetings, we meet three times a year and each meeting runs about an hour. Ahead of the meeting, our members nominate a nonprofit local agency and three agencies are randomly drawn. The nominating member speaks about the agency for five minutes and then there is a two minute question period. When all three agencies finish presenting, the members vote for who they should receive the funds. The successful agency receives the funds. Um, well, I've been able to uh, volunteer with a few agencies in Cortha Lakes and I joined 100 Women because it's a fantastic way to meet other women and I can make a contribution that combines with everyone else's and makes a significant impact on an agency that, as most of them are right now, struggling. Every um, meeting we draw three nominations and we get to hear about each of those for five minutes and ask questions afterwards. So it really is a lot of knowledge that you get at every meeting about these agencies that you wouldn't necessarily know about and uh, really broadens what you know and be aware and I think that even opportunities to volunteer with those agencies as well. Um, but, and then knowing that we can make an impact is uh, really heartfelt. I was uh, I'm about to retire as a principal in the city of Kawartha Lakes and I've worked with extensive community groups uh, as community partners within the school system looking for why I was going, to, what am I, I wanted to volunteer, didn't know which way to go and I found this organization which is like um, a liaison to, to all these um, charitable organizations and I have a chance now to help multiple organizations per year. That's what attracted me. First. Yeah, we've just had, I was just sitting at the desk downstairs and we've had three new members say, hi, I'm new to the area. I, I saw your, your uh, advertisement and I'm here, I'm just curious. I'd like to come in tonight, can I see what's going on? So we're thrilled. So yeah, no, it's all, we're always welcoming new members. And like I'm, so, I'm pretty new myself, uh, but I'm really loving it so far. I'm looking forward to tonight's transition and because I'm, I'm seeing part of it and the weather outside is very interesting so I'm not sure how our turn up is going, turnout is going to be. Um, but So we are transitioning from the previous executive tonight to the new executive and um, I, I think it's sort of like the passing of the torch. Uh, they were a very strong group and we hope to be just as strong and maybe even stronger, you never know, um, going forward. And everybody's quite excited. It's, it's not a sad moment, it's a very exciting moment for all of us. 
there... They've been great to work with. Uh, Pied Monk, uh, Erastus, um, one of the owners, he's been fabulous. Uh, communication has been smooth and swift and very, very accommodating. And we can't thank them enough because they, they're basically, they're donating their premises for us to hold all these crazy women for <laughs> a couple of hours, you know, every three months. And uh, they've been just hugely accommodating. So I can't thank them enough. Uh, the mission of 100 Women Kawartha Lakes is to connect local registered charities with community-minded women who are looking to make an immediate and substantial impact within our community. Um, the benefits of becoming a member is, I, in this day and age, women are very busy. Everyone's busy, but women are very busy with families and work running a household and they still want to contribute to society and help their community financially. So 100 Women Who Care is meeting three times a year and it's a really efficient meeting. It's one hour meeting three times a year. Um, we have a, a little bit of fun and it's a quick meeting and we make a big impact for our chosen charity. Love to see new members. Come on out and join us. Check out our website and uh, it's going to be a quick meeting and you can make a big impact for your community. So the easiest way to join is to visit our website, which is 100 Women Who Care, Kawartha Lakes. All the information you need is on that website. If you have any questions, you can email us from that website. But I would say most of our members come with a friend. So most of our members join through word of mouth. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Even the executive members, like some I knew and some I didn't, and we've just hit it off. And it, it, it's been a lot of fun. And everybody is super welcoming and super appreciative that um, there's a new executive coming in, that we're continuing um, what the work that was started here several years ago. And no one hesitates to, to think and nobody hesitates to appreciate and um, and they know that their turn is going to come they're just not ready yet that's fine and we're just going to keep going so it's been it's been fun with uh, 100 women Kawartha Lakes it, uh, we have supported 17 uh, charities in the in the past several years uh, and they're all under the Kawartha Lakes umbrella, whether it's community care, under the hospice program or elder abuse program, uh, the we, boys and girls, uh, big brothers, big sisters, um, the Therapeutic Riding Association, uh, Victoria's Quilts, which is quilts for cancer patients. Um, so there has been 17 strong organizations and they're all under the Quartz Lakes umbrella that we have supported and there's a good chunk of money has given them to, to actually do something with it. If you are a new organization and you have a registered charity, um, you have your registered number and you are in the Kawartha Lakes, the city of Kawartha Lakes, and your work is done within the city of Kawartha Lakes, then by all means, um, you can talk to a, hundred mem uh, a member of the 100 women and we can put in nomination form in for you. And, what, and then you would have to come in and present on behalf of your organization as to why you would be a good um, recipient of the charitable do donation.